Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I finally remembered to bring this upstairs where I do my videos <laughs> so you guys could see this was the inspiration for the long um, skinny journal that I'm doing and you can see that <clears throat> my journal is not as long as this because this is, I keep forgetting to check that before I, yeah 15, about 15 inches long so it's really long. This is the one that I'm going to make into um, a guest book for my niece for her wedding so that's a ways down the road and right now I'm just working on Christmas so that's what gave me the idea for this though because I'll probably end up doing it in a similar fashion as far as pages go um, so that's the inspiration now you guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that so I thought we could just work on this journal today. I don't have any specific big plans or anything really exciting to do. So if you have something you're working on, go ahead and get that out. It's going to be uh, more of a craft with me. I did add a little pocket here. These are Gail Agostinelli's um, postcards that she has uh, as a digi. So I went ahead and got those and I've printed them out and just added a couple of those there. I haven't got a whole lot more pages done. I'm going to tell you guys that this is probably <laughs> not the easiest way to do pages in a journal, but I, I like it a lot. I, I really like the way that it um, comes out. I do have more than this done. I did get more done than I had the last time I saw you guys. There's a bunch here that I don't have in here. But last night, like a ding-a-ling, I set it down on a baby wipe. <laughs> So um, I thought I want to kind of do some little collages and I was I got this idea from um, Lori Girl on the Ridge. She was making really cool tags um, doing some of that squeezing kind of, of paper, squishing whatever of paper like I do a lot. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to do a collage right here and that way we can cover that up. I mean it's not a huge deal but obviously somebody probably doesn't want that on their page. The other pages are all fine. That one's got a little dot right there but I can uh, do something there as well since it's not decorated or anything yet. But um, yeah, so I thought we could work on that. So let me open it back to that page, sorry. And I'll take it out of here and we can work on that. I hope you're all having an awesome day. It's um, still extremely cold here. Extremely, extremely, did I say extremely? It was um, 13 degrees when I got up this morning. I don't know what's going on, but it feels like January out there, only it's, you know, there's still leaves on trees and stuff like that. It's weird. So I got one of those receipt, you know, the old-fashioned pokey receipt things? <laughs> I got one of those, and it still had these really old receipts on it, so I thought they'd be fun because they're really thin, so they'll, like, squish well. So, yeah, uh, I would start with that. I, um... I'll show you guys when I get it closer to done, but I am, I took that old fashioned receipt holder for lack of a better word, for, I don't know what to call it, and I am putting um, like artificial leaves, you know, like silk leaves on it in a stack. I saw it on Pinterest, and now I can't find it on Pinterest, so I can't even like show you the picture of the one on Pinterest, but anyway. You like stack up the leaves and it ends up being like a tree, you know, and it looks really cool. So I wanted to make one of those. So I found one of these little receipt things at the, um, there's like this little house near us that uh, certain times of the year does like a little antique show, but they're only open certain times of the year. So like you got to go while they're there. Oops, you know what I forgot to do. I want to ink it a little bit, of course. But, yeah, they were open. That's where I got the tall receipt book and and this receipt pokey thing. Because I don't know what they're called, a receipt holder. And um, so I started putting leaves on it, but it's not ready yet. So I'll show you guys when I get closer to done with that. And I would, like, do it as a tutorial or something, but um, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I can't really make it a tutorial for other people when I have no idea what I'm even doing. It's a... Uh, it's called try and learn. <laughs> try and do it <laughs> without knowing what you're doing. But anyway, if I get it figured out, I'll show you guys and kind of tell you what I did. So if you happen to run up across one, you may be able to do the same. And I'm already running out of time. I cannot believe it's already going to be Halloween and we're going to be 
busy uh, the next two days, so I'm not going to be around for videos probably until Sunday. So I apologize for that, but you know, life is so. Um, yeah. Uh, just not gonna be able to do videos. So, anyways. So that little house has all kinds of neat things, but like I said, they're only open a couple times a year. So you just got to get there and find stuff. I did find a few things. I didn't find a ton. I mean, there's always tons of stuff to buy, but I try to like go with sort of an idea in mind of things that I need or, um, you know, want to use for junk journaling, that type of thing. I try not to just go all willy nilly because otherwise I spend way too much money. This is just some old book page. I think I'm going to use that. It's out of a, um, cookbook. Just some like random pieces of paper that are thin and kind of old. I don't know, it seems to like do this squishing thing better. And I don't know what else to call it. Just bringing it together. But if you watch Lori Girl on the Ridge, she got the idea. I can't remember. Firefly Studio, but there's a number with it and I can't remember. But she has it on there, so if you go watch uh, Lori Girl on the Ridge, um, she talks about all that. But it was just kind of fun, and I do this a lot, this squishing of paper and seeing the tags. I was like, I could do it for like a whole collage kind of thing instead of just, usually I just do like one strip or whatever. But um, I think it's kind of fun to do like a whole, whole something with it, because it does, it looks neat gives that effect that it's just like paper sitting there or something. I like that. And I have discovered that the older, thinner paper is what works the best for this. So just a FYI if you want to try it. I wouldn't try it with like a real thick, um, I'm just getting a wipe. This is a dry-ish wipe. Um, I wouldn't try it with like, you know, thick cardstock or, you know, piece of Tim Holtz cardstock or something because it won't. I mean, you might be able to get it to do it, but I don't think it'll work as good as the old paper does. I've got some music paper here. I can never tell which direction. Oh, because it's stretch. <laughs> Only if there's letters can I tell what direction it's supposed to go. <laughs> Uh, you'd think, I don't know where my daughter got it from, to be honest. She's super good at, like, reading music and everything. And, I don't know, because it's not me, I'll tell you that. I am pathetic at that kind of stuff. I really struggled. I played the saxophone in band. But we had just, like, a little band, and our idea was of marching was, like, marching in a parade in our town or whatever. I mean, we didn't do, like, the whole marching band deal so I had no idea when my kids started that and I really wasn't very good at it I struggled reading music I do not have a mathematical mind at all which I'm sure you guys have figured out if you've watched my videos for any amount of time because anything that requires any kind of measurement math any of that and I'm a mess but anyway um so our band was just super dinky and I mean, we played, like, at basketball games and stuff like that, but, I mean, it was really no big deal. And it didn't last long, because, you know, as it goes with funding, especially in small towns and music programs, it kind of just fizzled out, and... I think they did start it up again, but I just live in such a small town, or grew up in such a small town. I don't live in a small town anymore, really. I mean, it's small compared to what a lot of people think of as, but to me it seems big, because where I grew up was really small. I mean, I graduated with um, 24 people, and that was the largest group of graduates to that point in my high school. So I'm just looking through these Tim Holtz people because I kind of think it'd be fun to put one of those on there. These are the ones that Denise gave me. Thank you, Denise. I love these paper dolls and the uh, the winter ones are especially kind of fun in my opinion. Or the Christmas or whatever. That's kind of cool. He's not very big though. This boy with the skis is neat. 
kind of want a little bit bigger version. These little girls are cute, but you can't really tell that they're winter. I mean, they got plaid on, but oh, this little kid <laughs> all dressed up in that snowsuit. That is adorable. Oh, there's the bigger one with the tree. Like that one. I had a really big one of this one last year, and I used it on the front of a journal. That's a cool one. And I kind of like this kid with the ski. Those two are adorable, of course. She's cute. But these are loads of fun. I love these. Oh, there's an even bigger one. Those two are funny. They're kind of blurry. They look a little blurry. Oh, there's a bigger one of that one. That one is just stinking cute. I'm not sure what. It's almost like you need a snowball or something cool like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'm sure I could figure something out. Oh my gosh. That lady almost looks like my grandmother. That's crazy. Oh, I like that guy too. I put him in a journal last year. I think we're just going to go with that one. I just tend to seem to like that one. So that's what we're going with. I just really haven't looked through those yet. So that was kind of fun. I could even use a little bit of this tissue behind or somewhere. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get back on on Sunday and do a video. Just a busy, busy time of year. And I've been, my sister um, is sharing her car with her daughter, you know, because they just moved here and um, they're buying a house. I'm so excited. They accepted their offer on a house so um, but they only had one car because they were at their last where they lived before they could carpool together and so they didn't need more than one car and so they just had one car and so now I've been picking up my sister every day at work <laughs> so I want to be able to see that but if I I'm going to cover up something else maybe I'll just kind of put him out here this part pops out too Kind of fun because you can still see the words, and then I could put some other cool, like one of these little ephemeras on there. Kind of like that or something. Yeah, that would work. That just went like boom. But yeah, I got watching um, Lori Girl on the Ridge last night, and I was thinking while I was watching her, it would be super fun to just kind of do these little collages all over in this um, book. There's something different, I don't know. I mean, not that collages are different, but... Just kind of a different look, I guess. But yeah, it's fun stacking all this stuff up. And they did, you know, even more, like, multiple stacks of music paper or whatever, but. I'm just using my tacky glue to make sure it stays down. And when you're doing that kind of squishing of the paper, it seems that wet, wet glue works the best. I mean, you can do it with the glue stick. It will work. It's just that um, it's, it's a lot easier with the wet glue it seems to just sort of slide into place which is very nice Oops. you have to take the lid off the glue my daughter is going to go March um, this month or the month coming up November with Boise State for a day so she's super stoked about that she got that opportunity so I'm excited for her
So just when you think marching season's over, right? <laughs> it goes on, which is awesome because that makes her happy because she is having a hard time being done with that. I just hope it warms up a teeny bit before that day in particular. All right, so see, we I covered up my little boo-boo. I can't believe I did that. I mean, duh, set it right on the baby wipe. All right, so I think that will work well. Put that back in here. And, you know, I've noticed looking at some of these, like, um, some of the pages are longer, a little bit longer than others, and some overlap more and all that. But I think once it's all together, and I don't know, you guys tell me what you think, but um, I just think it's kind of a cool effect, and I don't really mind if some pages are a little bit longer or shorter or whatever, because that's kind of part of the whole thing, I feel like. So I have this piece of... Whoa, Paper. And I was going to do like a few full pages just because, like I said, this isn't the easiest thing to do to um, sew those together and get them straight and all that, or as straight as possible anyway. So um, I think I will do a couple full pages and I might do like a piece of Tim Holtz paper that's double sided and stuff like that just to have some variety. But I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside of this a little bit because I don't want it just white. It's been kind of a quiet week so far. I mean, like I said, we're, we've got stuff to do, but um, we did do some leaves yesterday in the yard. We got other stuff we got to get done too, which is part of the, the deal this weekend. I mean, if I get on and make videos, I get on and make videos, but I just am not, I don't think, I know the next two days I won't be, but I may be able to this weekend, just depending on what everybody's wants to do this weekend. It's so weird now because when your kids are little and you know some people don't celebrate Halloween but um, we did with our kids and when they're little there's like a million things. I mean my son's going to a Halloween party but my daughter went to a bonfire pumpkin carving last night so I mean they had they are doing some stuff but it's a lot different than when they were little my grandma and grandpa used to come over and go trick or treating with us and <laughs> just funny how all that kind of changes as they get older So that looks a little better. I just don't like it when it's plain, plain, plain. I'm going to grab a stencil. And I don't really have like specifically any Christmassy ones, but I thought maybe we could maybe do some of these along the side. I do like this one a lot. It turns out really cool when you stencil it. If I had more colors, I would do some colors, but I mean, I do have some Stampin' Up! stuff, but I just want to do it in the natural, I think. Ah, just messed up that little thing. And they don't have to be really dark. Just gives it a little interest instead of being plain. And then you can still write on here without any problem. And I'm sure everybody's seen this, you know, like Gail does a lot of stenciling. I keep, that one's messed up. Do like just a couple more up here. Need to put a little something under there. I don't want it to um, get all over this page. I kind of, well, let's see. And this one I stamped on the other day. That's better. So yeah, sorry I don't have something really new, but I really want to work on this journal because it's 
that's a fun, I think a different idea anyway, a little bit. Or it's different to me anyway, maybe other, it's, you know. A lot of this stuff has been done, obviously, because people have been doing this type of thing for a while, so. But it's new to me. Am I off? I am. I'm just stenciling the bottom of this page. I just don't have loads of room right here, unfortunately. Works great if I'm only working, you know, right here, but... Doing a quick, quick stencil on this. Let me know what you guys are working on. I'm curious. I know that um, my friend Melody has been working on journals, and she did one using my Spooky Times Digi, and it came out really cool. And I think she's um, going to be opening a Etsy shop soon. So as soon as I have the information or the okay to let you know about it, I will do so. Um, she's one of my subscribers that often comments and so I'm excited for her that she's got that going on and it was very kind of her to use one of my digis to make journals for her new shop that's kind of awesome so yeah I always like to hear what people are working on or whatever And I think I confused some people and they thought I was making this for my niece, which I understand the confusion because I didn't make that very clear. But this one is just sort of evolved from getting that um, ledger book. I wanted to do something, you know, with that for Christmas too, but I knew I would never be able to let it go. So this one I'll probably sell on my Etsy shop, just depending on how it turns out. I think it's going to turn out kind of cool, but you just never know what's, what it's going to be like. So I think I just want like a little something down across the bottom of this, because like I said, that, that little pink bit will bug me. Because <laughs> I'm weird like that. I do like another sort of mini collage on there. These are cool. I got this book it's called a dispatch book if anybody knows what in the world that is I don't but um, it's just these yellow papers but then in between are these little perforated papers and if they're just kind of aged the colors kind of cool and then they have the perforations in them I don't know I thought that was kind of a neat a neat book full of those and I love anything with those little tiny spiral notebook type things I can show you I did something with, that's that old ledger, there it is, oh there they are. So this is that perforated paper and I did put some washi on it because when you fold it in half it just wants to crack so, but yeah it's, it kind of looks cool especially with the perforations on there. So let's see what can we do back here, another little collage would be kind of fun. So I think I'll use some of this, maybe a little bit of this paper from Rachel. I've got a little scrap I don't mind sacrificing. <laughs> it's really hard for me to use that. I don't know why, but I just really like it. So I just want to keep it all, <laughs> which is really silly, I know. But, you know, it's the way I am. Maybe by next year I'll be willing to let it go. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, just seeing what I have. A lot of this is just coffee dyed paper of mine. Let's see. This one has some older bits and pieces in the background. It's really nice. Alright, let's see what we can do with this stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. I love old paper. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I did, I didn't even show you guys. I did um, a lot of this with the stuff that um, 
Denise sent me like this is some of the ephemera this is a piece of the ephemera that's a piece these are images out of that book that I got on Amazon with all the old images that's a piece of Rachel's paper this is a piece that coming out of the same book as that the one I got from Amazon that's a piece of Rachel's paper and then I just did the snowflakes and this is a piece of Stampin Up and then on the back it's just the ledger and some old paper and this is out of that book with the images from Amazon so yeah just kind of did that all over for that kind of collagey everywhere so that's why I think I'm liking the collagey thing um, on the pages too and these kind of seem like collages in a way when you stack the papers like that at least that's kind of what it makes me think of so And anywhere you need more glue, you know, you can just add it. That's good. A little bit of doily. So really anything that's thin paper is, I don't know, I've said it like a hundred times, but I just want to make sure, this, just so you don't discount certain things, like I think you could really use anything as long as it's a thinner type of paper. And this paper from Rachel is thinner as well. I think I just want the music off of this. And I'm going to take off just a little bit of this edge. I like how this is like got the little perforated, you know, edge on there too. And a piece of Pasha fur, which I don't tar charge extra for. <laughs> I swear his fur is everywhere. Uh, everywhere. It's a problem with having a Persian cat. Well, a long haired anything really. I mean, it just gets everywhere. And I comb him literally every night. He comes and sits next to me on the couch and I comb him. Oh, I want to move that up. What am I doing? See, and I like to sometimes like bend it weird too. I don't, it doesn't always have to be straight. But yeah, he sits next to me and I comb him until he usually gets mad and bites me. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be loved by your animals? <laughs> Trying to help him out by getting rid of some of the you know, gallons of extra fur and the knots and stuff, and he bites me. Yeah, that's love. So I'm thinking I want to use something from the kit here. But I, don't... I love this Santa on this old, like, little truck thing. It's just so fun. But I don't think it fit there. I think we could use another, like, yeah, that's going to cover a lot too. So maybe I'll use another little person. This guy's kind of cool. He's got snow all over him. He 
looks very dapper. It's hard to believe people dressed like that fairly regularly. I mean, sometimes now I just think, wow, could we be any bigger slobs? <laughs> Is that wrong of me to think that? I just am amazed sometimes. These little kids are so cute too. I see them everywhere though is the thing. I kind of like this guy just because it's something different. So I think I'll use him if I can get him off the table. Alright. Yeah, I like him. That and then what else could I use? I could use another piece of that stuff. Oh, hold on just a minute. Okay, hi everybody. Sorry, I was expecting a phone call, so I had to take that. Um, so I found a few little bits and pieces that I kind of added on here while I was chatting. Um, this little piece of ephemera that comes out of that uh, ephemera pack from Tim Holtz that Denise gave me. Glad I got these, Denise, because <laughs> I've been using them because they're nice. They're a nice smaller size because a lot of the ones I have are bigger. And this is one of the little stamps that she sent me. And I just kind of like the color of it. And then a piece of kind of Christmassy rickrack. I'm gonna put along the edge there. So yeah, this is fun. I like doing uh, things like this. That's right up my alley. So funny how you do stuff for a long time, you know, a certain way, like you'll just use a part of it or whatever, and then you see somebody else do something and it spurs on, you know, using it further or in a different way or whatever. I don't know. It's just interesting how this stuff evolves, I think. And it's fun to see it evolve and change. All right, so let's put him on next. I think, oh, did I even get, I didn't even get all the way around him, did I? Sorry, I have to check my text, too. I'm a bit, it's crazy today, but <laughs> my daughter um, went to a college fair today, and she drove with a bunch of friends, and so I kept telling her, I just want to know where you're at. Like, you can send me a smiley face, you can, whatever, but I just want to know when and you know, when you're where kind of thing, because they have more than one place they were going, and so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a worry wart like that, and I always tell my kids, like, you don't have to send me any long conversations <laughs> if you're, you know, hanging out with your friends, just like a smiley face, and I'm good, and it's silly, I know, because we never did that when we were kids, but it just seems like there's so much craziness that goes on now, I hear stories, and I'm like, how in the world, like, <laughs> Ah, so it's just my own neuroses, I know, and I probably shouldn't put it onto them and make them feel worried about everything in this world, but um, they're really good about understanding that I just want to know they're safe. It's not like I'm trying to nag at them or bug them or anything. I just want to know that they're good and they can pretty much do what they like as long as I know everything's good, so... I mean, I don't want to totally hover over them forever, it's just, it's more for my own, you know, ability to sleep at night kind of thing. So anyhow, there's that, and I will stitch around this card. And the cool part is, when you put something in these pockets, it kind of holds that page together, but then, you know, if you take it out, they'll still be separate from each other. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's kind of cool, but... Let me know what you guys think. I guess I will let you go now since we got that all done and I like the way that looks. One thing I did notice is I did put one little bit of stamp there, but I think I want to add some more. What did I do? Huh? Grab my Tim Holtz stamp. Sorry, I'm reaching all the way across. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm reaching all the way across there. Just got a little bit of it there, and I'm like, it kind of looks good, so I want to add a little more. And this has cat hair all over it. <laughs> like I said, you can't hardly get away from it, and I do 
vacuum everything, but if there's anything even remotely sticky, it's going to stick on it. So. His fur almost reminds me of like cotton is what it feels like and it's crazy how that's on a cat and it just feels like fluff on cotton or something. I don't know how to describe it other than that. But um, it's weird. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Our little... There we go. Alrighty, so that's that for today. I think that's all the playing time I have. <laughs> I have to move on, which is a bummer. It's always sad when I have to stop, but yeah, so I like the way that came out. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.